Nu var det alltid jag. Today the today I wanted to speak about Shivasa, but there are so many new person. They will not understand. What should we? They will understand something. They will understand something. Gyan Kamira Darshi Gyan Anjana Salakya Chapsurun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nana Vanchakalpatal Vesha Kripasin Bhukhyai Vacha Patitanam Pavanabhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayati Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Shri गुरुवे गौर चंद्राय राधिकाय इतराय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय नमो Yesterday was Disha parents day of <coughs> Sila Ji Goswami. So I wanted to tell about him something. But I am saying that it is a very high class of topic. There is so much place. You can come here and they come. So much place there. I wanted to speak about Jiva Swami, no? but the subject is so hard, very deep. And I am saying that there are so many new persons. What should I do? Or general. Hmm. The topic of Jiva Swami is so high. 
Vedanta. It will be better for you, for your Krishna consciousness. But it will be very high subject for them to understand. What should I do? I should change the subject? <laughs> Both. We can, we can also ask the new audience. No, not yet. <laughs> no, but if they want to hear something, really. Um, yeah, otherwise, Prabhu can give a little introduction. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell about Jyugoswami, something, and after that I will tell you something. So, yesterday I was telling about glories of Srila Jyugoswami. He was one of the six Goswamis. He has written some books. Among them, yesterday Navin Krishna and Prem Prajan told, has written Tattva Sandarbha. That in this world, we trust anyone. So in transcendental world, whom we should trust? Because we cannot see that transcendental world by eyes. We cannot touch by or any senses. So how we can have a idea and an idea of transcendental world or who is the supreme personality of Godhead? How can we decide? Also, we are seeing this body, but actually we are not seeing the soul of... Oh, you can come here. You can come. You can come. You can sit there. So, how can we trust? Trust that there is a God from whom this creation has come and how he is controlling the whole world. We cannot control the world. We cannot see our Atma. Even God is here everywhere, but we are not seeing him. So, Jeeva Swami has told that our all senses are imperfect. imperfect, imperfect, not perfect. So, anything we are seeing or we are Anubhav kar rahe hain, realizing anything by other senses. We cannot believe on that. Our eyes cannot see eyes, own eyes. Our eyes cannot see what is inside our body. Our eyes cannot see what is soul here? 
So these are limited. They have power but limited. So we cannot trust down these things. Especially for transcendental things. We see that so many persons are taking birth daily and daily lakhs of thousands of persons are dying. <coughs> Who is controlling? Waves are coming on time. Sun is rising on just time. New day coming regularly at his time. So everything is controlled, and we cannot control, then who is controlling all this? So God is called creator, like G, generator, O, operator, and D, destructor of this world. But we are not seeing. So what is the proof that God is, there is a God? There are so many souls. What is the proof? So these senses cannot do anything about transcendental things. Our seeing, our touching, or all senses are defective. So Yego Swami is telling that only transcendental words, they are to be trusted. They can show a real path. What they will tell, it will be true. And what is that transcendental words? Like Vedas, Upanishadas, and especially Srimad Bhagavatam. Transcendental knowledge is there. So we must trust Vedas, the words of Vedas. If a man is telling that we can trust anything which we can see, we cannot believe anything which we cannot see. But there are so many things that you are trusting. How my Guruji was going with me in a train, an officer came and told that, do you believe in God? Our Guru Maharaj told, yes. How? I don't believe in God because I don't see. <clears throat> so I can trust any which our eyes can see. Guru Maharaj at once replied that, no, this is not thing. You believe so many things that you have not seen. How? Can you say who is your father? That person told, officer, yes, my father is, my, his name is that, this. He told the name of his father. Or Guruji told that, how do you know that he is your father? Any proof? Then he began to see here and there. He has no proof. At that time when he was meeting, at that time he had not taken birth. So he had not seen. But yet his mother is telling that, oh, he is your father. So on this proof, we can tell that he is my father. But if mother tells lie, but we trust in mother, 
that she will not tell that. In this way, the words of Vedas, Srimad Bhagavatam, they are more trustful than mother and father or anything. Mother can tell lie, but this transcendental world cannot tell lie. So we can trust on the words of Veda. <coughs> so everything has been told in Veda, especially in Srimad Bhagavatam. So it is most supreme evidence. Sometimes if which eyes are seen and we are expected letting what? Yeah. But if it is uske uh, anugat hai, ya uske following in accordance, according to according to according to Vedas, and they follow Vedas words, then they may be some mm, trustful. Other this cannot trust. From a very far place, we can say, oh, our father is coming. But when he will come nearer, oh, he, father, he is not father, oh, he is some other person. So, these are not evidence. Evidence is Srimad Bhagavatam and Veda Upanishad. Then he told, who is God? Hmm? He told that Krishna, the supreme personality of God. Why? Somewhere it is told that God has no shape, no attribute, no not any quality. Hmm? There is no quality in that. But these are telling. He has shape. He has so many qualities. If God has no shape, then from where this whole world came? So many shape. From nothing, anything or something cannot come. So God must have some shape. And that shape is so beautiful, much more beautiful. There is none beautiful like him, and Krishna has all kinds of good qualities. He is so much merciful. If God is not merciful, then how he can know our difficulties, sorrow, sufferings, and how he can help us? So he must have some say, <clears throat> and these qualities. If God is not so, have no, his embodiment of love and life. If he is not so, then what is the use of God if he cannot help us, if he cannot love us, if he cannot help us in our miseries, then what is the use of God then? Nothing. If God can generate and He can regulate all these things, and in a moment He can destroy the whole world, and in a second He can create lakhs and lakhs of worlds, lakhs and sun, sun and moons then he is so powerful. So God must be so powerful that we cannot do. We are so. Not this body you should know, Jee Goswami is telling. We are actually not this body. We are captured in a jail like. This is like jail or cage. Though you don't want to be old, Though you don't want to be to die, 
but you are bound to be old. If you are not a young in young is, then you must be old. Your hairs will be white, or the sight will, eyesight will be so weak. weak. And one day a day will come that you cannot walk without any stick. And one day you will have to give up this body. So there is a soul here who never takes birth, who never dies. There is no change of the modes. He never becomes child, young, or old, or anything. And controller of the whole world, jivas, souls, is God. He never dies. He never changes his positions. He is almighty. He knows past, future and present, present everything. Omnipotent. Omniscient. Omniscient. Yes. He can do anything he likes. And he is also so much merciful. Causeless, merciful he is. What is Ji? Ji Goswami is telling that that God is Sarva Shakti Man. All kinds of powers are invested in him, always. When God with his Sarup Shakti, with Sarup Shakti, Sarup Shakti means the power always lives in him. within him. And by the, that Sarup Shakti, that power, he can create lakhs and lakhs world. He can play everywhere. He can do anything. That Sarva Shakti is called Antaranga Shakti or Sarup Shakti. By this Shakti, when he is with Sarup Shakti and with his own qualities, and then if there is some power expansion, huh? expansion or power, it is called Incarnation, Sansa. 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 Sansa means? So, so, so. Like Sansa? Part and part. Plenary expansion. Yeah. Like Aram, Balram, Nishingh, and all others. And when this Brahma, that is this God. <coughs> Only his with his Tatasha Shakti or Jiva Shakti. Tatasha Shakti or Jiva Shakti means potency. Only with that. The part of that Brahma is called Jiva. Maybe Namus Jiva or <coughs> soul. This soul within us. Right? There are part and parcel of that God. But now we are forgetting him. And that is why his Maya, his one kind of power, potency has taken us to this world and covered, has covered our so, that uh, soul, pure soul. And now we have forgotten who am I, we who are you, who is God. And thus we are 
in the chain of endless chain of birth, death, sorrow, suffering. In this world, energy is not happy because he has forgotten that God and not serving, not wanting his mercy. He don't come out of this maya, illusory. That is why he is always suffering. In this world, you can scrutinize and see. Even any presidents and chief ministers or kings, emperors, all are suffering. Anyone is not happy. If you are some happy in young age, but there are so many problems. One day we'll have to give up this body, surely. We cannot say that God is true or not, but very easily we can say that death of anyone is true. Anyone cannot deny. Even a person who does, don't uh, believe in God, but he is bound to tell that date is true. And in this world, sufferings is, are true. Anyone cannot deny this. But they don't know why we are suffering. Like animals, always uh, quarreling, always uh, what ahar mitra bhai metuna. Always they are involved. They think that we will be happy by this, but we cannot be happy. So Ji Goswami is telling <coughs> that all the souls which were seen in different species, species. species like human beings, demigods, Animal. animals, Animal. birds, water, Fishes, all these things. Also trees, creeper. Those who have sense and they feel sorrows and happiness. All their souls. Somewhat covered in so many kinds of species. But all are like souls, like we are. And among all these species, species, human bodies, some special qualities he has. That we can call you, you can come. You can hear all. And you can understand these things. You can see your futures. Animals, they don't see their future, very little. Some monkeys and some <coughs> others, donkeys, cows, they can see their future for very nearer future, not more. Because you can see that if there are so many cows, or any animal, goats and and there are so many. And if they are taken to slaughterhouse, and they are very near to die, and if you give some grasses, they'll quarrel among that that I want to take, I will take, I will take. They will quarrel themselves. But not they are seeing, seeing that, 
Oh, so many has gone to slaughter and they have been slaughtered and now we will go. They cannot. But human body can think about it. More future. That is why they are singing their futures and they are making so many bombs that we will destroy others and control all and then we will be happy. And some are saying that, oh, by doing so, we will not be happy. How you can, can be happy? If we will realize what is so. From where we have come? One day after death, where to go? Why a person takes birth in the house of Prime Minister of Australia like a daughter or son? Why? And in the same moment, another person is taking birth in a very poor family. Why? Why one becomes lame and one becomes so beautiful? Why? Why a man, man being very poor, he came by birth in poor family, but he became prime minister or president? Why? A wise man, intelligent man can realize these things. So, human, this shape is most uh, supreme among all these species. We can think. And in this shape, this body, if we are not thinking about this, why the suffering is coming? Why we are going to tell? Who am I? Who is God? He is not thinking like this and not hearing. He is also too legged, too legged, too legged, legged animal. animal. <clears throat> there is no difference between animal and human person. But if anyone had this, that from where we have come? In this body, who am I? You know also this, Jiva Goswami has told. All the human persons, all the beings, trees, creepers, animals, all have some sense of gratification. Also there is love and affection in them. If there is a dog, you will tell, oh, come on, come on, come on, like this and you should love him. He will come doing his like that. Even tigers and lions come, can come, and they will not be ferocious. So everywhere there is love and affection in all trees even. Also they have senses. So we know that our religion is love and affection. So God is the embodiment of love and affection. He is so merciful. He is, has all kinds of powers. We are power and person. So if you are going to realize this fact, and if this realization will come, surely will be out of the chain of birth and sorrow, suffering. This is called Bhakti Yoga. If we will practice on this, anyhow, to maintaining our family, our life, and this maintenance will come automatically from previous births, <coughs> impressions. You can test it that if seven days 
or eight days or one month, you are not doing anything, sitting in your room and chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Or you will say automatically everything is coming out. Up to that, that uh, your death not, does not come. Hundred years, all will come. So we should trust in these things. We should try in this birth, human shape, we should try to know who am I. So if, how we can know? If in this world there is some, there are some persons who know these things. They are qualified. They have a realization of soul and God. They have some link with God by practices. They can show that path that you can also have a realization. And he is called Acharya Guru, Holy Master. So if we can go to them, they never fall. Never. They never fall. So we should try to go to them and associate with them. <coughs> Jiva Swami tells, Adav Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sang Atha Bhajan Kriya Tato Anartham Nibhritti Tato Nishtha Tato Nishtha Ruchi Asakti and then Bhava. So up to this in human body we can do. What is Shraddha? That there is a God. We are part and parcel of God. Hmm? We must serve the Supreme Personality of God. This desire is called Sraddha. And when this Sraddha will come, how it will come? By the association of any pure devotee. It may but if this desire to serve Godhead has come, but after that we have no association qualified, then this desire, desire will dry up. dry up. And that is going on. Now it is. Lacking of Good association. association so many devotees, they had uh, the Shraddha. After that, they had also Bhajan Kriya. They were initiated even, and they began to do Bhajan Sadhan. And but there was no good association. And their, this desire of serving Krishna Shraddha began to draw. So, some person, though they were coming in the Madhyam Adhikar, and they take renounce order even, Brahmachari, but from there they began to fall. So, like a tree or creeper, if it, is, it has come, his sprouts, from seed and some leaves. Le eh? leaves. leaves have come and it has grown up to some extent. But if there is no water, what will be? They will die. So we should try always to be in good association. Any society can not give this, but the 
societies, if there are some good preachers, like Swamiji came, like our Gurudev came, Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati came. We can be associated with them. And if they are gone, the line is there, but followers are not true. They are hankering after wealth, after three W's. Wealth, women and wine, then they will fall down surely. Hmm? So we should try to know all these things and try to practice bhakti yoga gradually. Hmm? If you are not practicing knowing bhakti yoga, then we are like animals. And animals not like hog, pigs and asses. So now you see that whole world, they are quarreling themselves like animals. Animals can fight with nails. nails and not dust right, white things. And these animals, two-legged legs, what they are doing? Making so much big, big, powerful atom bomb, nitrogen bomb. And they are destroying lives and lives of humans and lives. So they are more nistful, cruel hearted, and everything, more than animals. They cannot control their senses, but they want to control the whole world. So, Anyhow, maintaining our life, we should try to follow all these doctrines and be happy forever. We should try for this. One kirtan, little Krishna Dash. Mahamantra. <coughs> Goswami as all, has also told that there are three things. One transcendental world. And the, there are so many jivas, many souls. And also this world. Lacks and lacks world, not only this world. Lacks and lacks world. <coughs> In transcendental world, everything is transcendental. No birth, death, sorrow, suffering is there. There are also two kinds of jivas, souls. <coughs> Those who are liberated, they serve God there. In Vaikuntha, they serve. In transcendental world, all are happy. And those who are jiva souls who are forgotten, they are called conditioned souls. We are all conditioned souls. And our soul is covered with what? Worldly elements like earth, water, fire, ether, air. 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 Our body consists of these five elements. When anyone dies, by burning or giving in grave, <coughs> Five animals meets in their original forms. But the soul never dies or never takes birth. These souls 
in some case they are different and in some case in different <coughs> form God. As God has a beautiful body, shape, so many powers, and he tastes so many good qualities, souls have also a very beautiful body, very beautiful body, and so many qualities. But the difference between God and souls are what? God is full. Infinite. Infinite. And, infinite. and jeep souls are infinite. Infinite. Jeep cannot create, souls cannot create world. They cannot control. But God can control everything. And he is the master of Maya. Jeev has so many changes, but Supreme God or any God, any incarnation of God, they are out of Maya. They can control Maya. They cannot come in the control of Maya, illusory Maya. They cannot be unhappy. But Jeev, in some cases, when they will forget some personality of God, and they will misuse their independence. independence, they will come to this world, thinking that I am this body, I am doer of all things, I am controller, I am tester, they will think. But this is the symptom of uh, condition so so we are conditioned and this world <coughs> made of five animals there are so many also elements but elements so many but these are prominent earth water air fire There are also so many things. So, these all souls has come up from <coughs> Supreme Parshvati of Godhead. And this world has also come from the power of Supreme Parshvati, Krishna. So there are two kinds of power. One is called Sarva Shakti or Yoga Maya, and now that is called Maha Maya, like Durga, Kali, and all others. They can create this world, but they cannot create souls. Souls, souls are uh, eternal. eternal. Uh, They are from the same time from when God is there. And God is eternal. So jivas are eternal. But when they forget Supreme Personality of God, and they want their own happiness, and they think that I can do this, that, they don't Uh, admit God or anything. Then Maya takes them and covers this thing. So there is some, in cases, there is some difference and in some cases, non-difference non also. And this world has come out from his illusory Maya. So there is also some difference and non-difference from the world. Because Shakti, Shakti, Mato, Raveda, there is no difference between potent and potency. Potent and potency. 
So this is called Achinta Bhedave. Ji Goswami has, he has described, explained these things very well. Any other Acharya, like Ramanuja Madhva, they cannot give this explanation. How he received this, how they realized this thing, by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is himself Krishna, supreme personality of Lord here. But he came in the shape of a guru in this world. So he told it to uh, Sarvam Bhattacharya, and thus from Sarvam Bhattacharya, Jiv Goswami knew all these things. And from various Shastra, he compiled this Satsangar, and in this book he had written everything. But we cannot know by reading books. We will have to hear all these things. He has one also told that by knowledge, worldly knowledge, or any knowledge, by yogs, ashtanga yoga, by any authorities, by donation, we, we cannot know Supreme Personality of Godhead, or we cannot realize our Atma also. So, only by the practice of pure bhakti yoga, we can know these things. You can also know this thing, you should understand about God and these jivas, that if God has no shape, this world cannot come, souls cannot come. Also in Bible it has been told, not only in Indian scriptures, it has told in Bible that God created man after his own image. So if God has no shape, how he can create human bodies? So God has, if God has created like him, then it is written in Bible. So we should try to follow this. Not only in Indian Vedic uh, scripts, scriptures and uh, Bible, also in Quran Sharif, in Muslims, they trust in Quran. It has also been written that Khoda Nalaha Khalaka Men Surathi that is Khoda has created these human bodies like his seed. So if it is not so, why it has been written in Quran? <coughs> so God has a shape. He is so merciful. So we should try to trust it. Now he is telling that only by practicing bhakti yoga. What is bhakti yoga? We can be attached with God by bhakti yoga, not by gyan, by knowledge. You can understand by an example that if I am telling that by water, taking water, drinking water, our uh, thirst, thirst, we can quench our thirst. But if we are not taking water, by this knowledge, our thirst will not go. We should take a glass of water and then it, it may go. You are very hungry. <coughs> you want some food stuff. I told that by taking chapati or by taking rice, halwa, rice or uh, sweet, chapati, bread, bread and butter and some sweets, oh, 
your hunger will be go away. Na? 